Alright, one of the students actually asked me about this question in my Facebook page. So I'm going to like make a short video to, to explain about this question because I find this question a bit different with the rest of the question we always see. Alright, so for this question, uh, this is the SBM MF from 5 chapter 1. Uh, I, I think is under the topic called progression. Okay, so given that the sum of the n term of the arithmetic progression mean that AP is 2n plus 3n. So the information given is uh, the information given is sum of the n term is equals to 2n squared plus 3n. And the question will ask you to find the 12th term. That's mean the question basically asks you what is t12. Alright, for this kind of question, because you have very limited information, so that's that's why I say this question is a bit different. Because normally the question, if if the question asks you to find the, the 12th term for arithmetic progression, at least you will need to link to this formula, Tn equals to A plus N minus 1D. So from here, you will need to know what is A, first term, what is N, N you will know which is 12, and what is D, what is the difference common different and the first term but then because for this sort of question you there's no way for you to find the a and d yes if you want to find still can find all right but then i will teach you some faster way to actually solve this kind of question okay so you have sn sn means what sn basically is means sum of the first n term sum of the first n term Okay, so what is the meaning for sum of the first n term? If I say something like S5, S5 means what? S5 basically means T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus T4 plus T5. Means the sum from the first term to the fifth term. Mean you have to plus every term from the first, uh, first term to the fifth term. Alright, so in order to get the t12 so in order to get the t12 i mean the 12th term so what i will do is what i will do over here is i will try to use sum of the 12th term minus sum of the 11th term then i then i can straight away get the 12th term correct or not so for example if sum of the 12th term over here it will be t1 plus t2 plus until t10 t10 plus t11 plus t12 correct or not so then some of the uh some of the first 11 term it will be t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus blah blah plus until t10 plus t11 this is the sum of the 11 term so if I can simplify, mean I will cut from the first term because do you see I actually use minus here? That's mean whatever is the same one I will cancel it out. Mean I simplify. Then I will left over here, it will be t12. Do you see? So I come out some uh common idea is in order to find the 12th term, I will use s12 minus s11. Because if I minus every term they have, I will left the 12th term over here. Alright, so yeah, this is the uh, this is all the idea on how to solve this kind of question. Alright, so yeah, just do not waste your time. So yeah, I just do it here. So okay. So I will do S uh okay, maybe I write properly. So I will say T12 equals to s12 minus s11 the s12 i just substitute 12 into my n mean 2 12 square plus 3 12 minus same thing 2 11 square plus 3 11 then then i th of course i will use calculator to solve this kind of question so 2 multiple 144 minus 36 a eh, plus 36 my bad so this one will get 324 minus 2 multiple 11 square i think 11 square is 121 is that it 
plus 33. So it's 275. So then I will get 324 minus 275. I'll get 49. So I think this one will be my 12th term. Alright. However, if you really want to find an A and then you want to find a D and then you want to apply, you should be able to get the same answer also. So yeah, from here maybe we try something else. So let's say I want to use the formula Tn equals to a plus one uh a a plus n minus one d. Let's say I want to use this one. So yes, so I go I'm going to do another experiment here. So let's say in order to find a I'm going to call it s1. Because s1 means sum of the first term, so it basically should equal to the first term. So it's two one square plus three one. So basically it will equal to five. Then if I want to find a D, sec I will use I will need to use the second term minus the first term, correct or not? Because we know D is a common difference, we can use T2 minus T1. T1 we already know is basically is the 5. So what I will do is I will try to find S2 first. Means sum of the sum of the first term plus second term, correct or not? So from here, S2, I'm going to substitute 2 into the N here. 2, 2 squared plus 3, 2. So this one basically is 4, multiple 2 is 8. 8 plus 6 will be, 8 plus 6 will be 14. Alright, so in order to find a D, oh, not yet. I will need to find what is the second term first. So in order to find a second term, I'm going to use the 14. Because for 14 is sum of first term and second term, right? I minus the first term. Then I get 9. Alright, this is my second term. So therefore, in order to get D, I will need to use the uh, second term minus the first term. My second term is 9, first term is 5, my D will be 4. Alright, so then I will have A, I will have D, and then I have N also because I want to find 12th term. So T12 will equal to A. A basically is 5 plus N, which is 12, minus 1. D is 4. So I will get 5 plus N minus 1 is 11. So 11 multiple 4, it will be 44. So I will still get 49. And you will realize that both of them will have the same answer. T12 equals to 49. T12 equals to 49. Alright, so both methods actually will, will actually help you to find the 12th term. But if you ask me, I will prefer the first method because the first method actually sounds easier and faster. Because for the second method, a lot of students will make mistakes over here. Whenever they get the 14, right, they will assume this is T2. Then they will use the 14 to minus 5 to get the, to get the common difference. I mean to get the D and then if you got the D value wrong and then maybe the T12 value you will got it wrong also. However, if you understand both methods, I think it should be fine in the exam. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any uh if you have any issue, you can post a uh, comment below. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching.